need an intro. I really need an intro. Oh, let's make an intro now. Um. Hi, beautiful people. I'm May. Welcome back. Um. How are we? What has your day been? Okay. Let's get started. So today I want to talk about something that's really pressing for me. Um, mainly being. A, as a particular application i am really struggling to see like my eyesight is so bad like i'm literally squinting like i die. i can't see myself i wanna say hi i want to focus on a particular application today by application i mean app tiktok now this app is like it's used by pretty much everyone they have like 20 million maybe even like 2 billion let's i don't know let's do some research <laughs> You would think I would do these things beforehand. Um, so this won't tell me how many people are using TikTok, but it will tell me how many downloads it has. Um, I mean, it has 2.1 million reviews, so that alone is just insane. How many users are on TikTok? This was in 2021. In 2021, the app had 1 billion. Insane. Um, I really want to talk about TikTok and its effects that it's having on people. Now, mental health wise, that's a whole nother story. I'm going to get into it a little bit, but I just want to talk about it in terms of like confidence wise. Yes, it is mental health wise, but I'm not going to be doing as much like, hey, like this is what you need to do to stay off tiktok to fix your mental health i'm going to be talking to you about how you can avoid falling into the trap of believing that just because somebody looks this way and you don't and just because you look this way and this person doesn't doesn't mean that you should change yourself to fit in like i really want to talk about stuff like that it's going to be more like me sort of mentoring you this might become a series um i might focus it on different apps do some research maybe but i really just want to talk about like tiktok um because i i come across so many strange things and so many strange takes and the main way that i've been categorizing what i've been viewing and what i've been seeing and just like thinking about it is by reposting it and saving it so if you don't know already my instagram my tiktok everything is so it's, <laughs> it's it's maze so first things first in terms of why i dislike tiktok i'm saying in this morning time because maybe the app could have this big change this big like redemption arc currently at the moment it feels like it's turning into instagram now i use instagram it's my main base it's where i have the majority of my supporters but instagram is sort of a toxic place it's it's an app that's made for competition, which makes sense if you're going to make a career out of it, if you're focusing on promoting your job on there. It is all about competition. You want to share so many accounts on there, you have to stand out. I completely understand that. But once you scratch the surface beyond that, you start to see that the majority of TikTok, can, of TikTok, of Instagram can be such a depressing place to post, to comment, and to just watch content because of the comments and i made a post about this if you want to watch it here and i was basically saying how it doesn't matter what post i make uh, how i formulate my caption or how i f wh whatever i do there will eventually be a onslow onslow is that a word slew wow <laughs> there will eventually be a wave of racism colorism and misogyny because i'm a dark skin black girl and that's just something that i have grown to like take on you know what i mean it's just whatever i i i accept that and i know but i shouldn't have to accept that and i shouldn't have to know back onto tiktok it does feel like tiktok is becoming that sort of place this creator i'll put that tiktok on the screen basically said that mean comments have become the norm because people are so comfortable hiding behind their screens not accepting the fact that they're being cruel that they're being rude and what they're doing isn't funny and it isn't at all something to like rally around like you you are mocking someone you're blatantly mocking someone if you did this in public people would call you out for how disgusting and immoral you're being you see someone online who doesn't look as cookie cutter as how you would expect them to be and 
throw a tomato, throw a tomato, throw a tomato. You're bullying them. You are bullying them. Now, bullying is repeated mistreatment, repeated harm, right? But the issue with bullying on TikTok is that it's coming from different people, maybe just once. Because after that one video, you'll probably never see them again. They'll probably never see your content again. So they're going through the rest of your posts and repeating these vile comments. But when it comes from a mass amount of people, but it's only happening one time from them, it feels like bullying, but then it can't be categorized as bullying. It should be. People are so rude because you don't look how they want you to look. Everyone is forced into this skewed mindset that if you don't look attractive to them they have no reason to be polite to be kind or to be respectful that doesn't make sense why would you be attracted to everybody in society it's this idea of we create a generation where desire outweighs logic where you feel as though if you can't desire a person if you can't be attracted to this person then there's no benefit to you they offer no usefulness or no sustenance to you therefore you need to tell them hey you're not attractive enough for me to respect you you're not attractive enough for me to treat you like the human being you are so i'm going to go into your comment section and i'm going to hurl vile comments at you in hopes that it will bring down your self-esteem enough for you to crawl your way to the tiktok search bar and type in how to be prettier how to glow up how to be tiktok pretty and therefore you become another cookie cutter tiktok girly cookie cutter tiktok boy and you're probably thinking okay but why are you being so judgmental because i've done it ah because i've literally done it like i can't just snuff i've been that person i didn't get those comments but i realized if i'm not getting the same type of respect and if i'm not being treated the same way as other people that are more attractive than me even though attractiveness is subjective but i digress if i'm not getting the respect that i think i deserve as a human being alongside everyone else then maybe i should change the way i look so i would search up oh how to be prettier how to glow up and i was searching for hours and hours on pinterest how to be pretty workout routines to lose weight in a week how to clear your skin in under a week like things like that because i was so low down and my self-esteem was beneath the floor baby it was beneath the floor that i couldn't even fathom the idea that i'm more than just my appearance human beings if you base your entire worth on just one factor of yourself one tiny part of yourself that's all you'll be reduced to and it's not fair if you're a person that's intelligent but people can't see past that it sucks if you're a person that is attractive to a lot of people people can't see past that because we are more than just what we can offer for monetary gain i am more than just someone that can give you makeup inspo or fashion inspo or photo inspo i'm more than that and if i'm not allowed to show that to people for fear of them not accepting that or not understanding that then it makes people feel so like inadequate and almost unfulfilled in their life and this is coming from a content creator so can you imagine how i would feel if i had to go about my everyday life not knowing i have what twenty nine thousand people rallying behind me on tiktok on instagram and fifteen thousand people rallying behind me on youtube you know how it would feel to just be so left like that it'd feel awful it would feel awful people are not being nice therefore people are losing themselves in a generation where if you don't look like this 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 you are not pretty and that's just it. It's not like you're not pretty enough. It's just you are not pretty. You don't fit the standard. You don't fit the bill. Therefore, you're not pretty. And it doesn't make sense. Because the standard itself... Like, can we just talk about this? Like, but the beauty standard... Someone said this because they were talking about... I was watching a history page. And they were basically saying how um, it's so funny to look back in history to see that rounder bodies, square-shaped bodies and bigger facial features and larger foreheads were seen as more desirable that women would pluck their hairlines and people would eat more in hopes of gaining more weight and fitting that body standard because it was so unattainable to the point where people looked so drastically different compared to now where the body standard is ultra thin and it's very um sculpted cheekbones and it's just something that people can't achieve naturally because nobody's really built like that to be honest and they've gone for the full of zempic and people are drinking three to four cups of green tea this is actually green tea by the way it's great for digestion i will not say anything more about why i'm drinking that I okay, it's too hot. Um, and they were basically pointing out how the fact is the beauty standard, which is created by men because it's a standard of beauty that they hold for all women. 
So if you can't meet that, you're not attractive to them, therefore you're not desirable for them, therefore they're not going to choose you as a mate, husband, <laughs> as a mate, as a mate, wife, etc. And so they were basically saying how the beauty standard is literally just whatever a woman isn't. It's just something so unattainable and so unreachable to the point that it drives women mad trying to reach these goals. Now, this isn't me just bashing men and saying, this is why I hate men, because I dislike the world that is perpetuated by male desires and perpetuated by the fact that men have created a system that allows them to be on top and women to kind of float alongside that. I just find it so crazy how will never win and the main reason i had this in my mind is because of this video where girls are basically saying hey i have bad facial features but great facial harmony and they're highlighting different areas of their face now a few months ago i saw this trend on youtube so it's probably been on tiktok a while ago anyways but i saw this trend on youtube where they would do their eyes their nose their mouth ears and then they show their face and be like mm, no comment they were just like oh show your facial features and then your face and everyone comes like oh you're so cute they suit you they all work together it was just normal and everybody would do it right and i'm not talking about people that felt insecure that it was just it was just a trend show different facial features and then show the end result now to come on to tiktok and it's such a darker bitter version Oh, I have bad facial features and they're showing eyes, nose, mouth, and the nose. When they say bad facial features, be a nose that isn't small and dainty and pointy. When they show the mouth, it will be a mouth that's very small, not very plump. When they show the eyes, it could be eyes that aren't big enough or that aren't small enough or whatever. Or ears that are too big or eyebrows that are too thin or eyebrows that are too full or cheeks that are too full. And when they zoom out and they show their actual face, you're like, oh... So what was the point of the video? That you think your facial features, when picked apart of your face, are ugly and they don't suit you. But when put together, you think you look quite nice. I think I look quite special. I mean, besides the fact that I would never post a video online saying that I have this insecurity. You'll never catch me doing that, by the way. Never. I don't even know why that crosses people's mind. To go into the internet and tell random strangers your biggest insecurities. Why would you do that? Unless you're helping uplift girls. Like, I'll happily come in here and say, yeah, I struggled with acne and I still have acne scars to this day, which are very visible. Don't let them find you. I'll happily come into the internet saying that. And say, oh my God, I hate my acne scars. They're so ugly. They make me look so dumb. I hate my nose. It's so... Are you dumb? No, you must be dumb. I don't care. I don't care if you're insecure. You're dumb. You're dumb and insecure. And the main reason why I have no sympathy towards these people, zero sympathy towards these people, is because posting these videos where the average age on TikTok is probably like nine years old at this point. Do you not understand that children are going to come across these videos, come across this trend and see, oh, wait, I have a nose similar to her. And she says that her nose is bad. Her features are bad. I have lips like hers. My skin's like hers. Huh. I'm starting to think that I should be insecure about these things. It's like, do you not remember that first moment when you realize that you're developing a negative mindset towards your body? Do you not remember the feeling of like, oh, this is going to set me back for years. Oh, this is going to damage me for years. Do you guys not remember that? And it just annoys me so much because you're not learning from the past you are perpetuating the same standards of beauty that had gone before us for the new generation tiktok you could scroll once and it'd be a cute dog video where it's coming in to the house meeting its new family after being adopted and being left at the shelter for a few years and it's like oh my god it's so special oh my god it's so cute you scroll again and it's a girl telling you this new anti-wrinkle straw that stops you from gaining lines and wrinkles and this new botox that you can buy from little and you inject it into your face and you hope that you don't die like hi what the hell are you talking about what are we doing what are we doing right now the internet yeah let's stop let's stop posting stuff like that on the internet please because it's dumb harmful ridiculous like i don't have sympathy i'm just gonna say this again because i feel like if you might have missed me say that i have no sympathy i don't cry for you guys i don't it's giving kylie jenner crying because people are calling her old at the met gala you set women back like i don't even know how many years because of everything you and your family have done i don't care that you do not benefit from having to market yourself you have benefited enough monetarily with the money with the lip kits with the skims with the injections with the botox you guys are what's wrong with women 
I don't feel bad for people that continuously set women back. And by set women back, I don't mean, oh, you support men or you believe that some men are, but I don't care. I'm not, I'm not a radical feminist. I'm not talking about that when I say set women back. I mean, set women back mentally, believing that they are nothing but the way they look. You're not inspiring more women to read. Um, I just find it just increasingly more irritating the more I learn about just people that benefit from reducing women to nothing but the way they look. And we should never change to benefit someone's idea of beauty, someone's idea of perfection. It doesn't make any sense. Don't change yourself because someone told you to. When we start talking about what the ideal person is supposed to look like, what the ideal person is supposed to speak like, we always come down to one singular perception, perspective. You guys are not original in your thinking when you say, oh but I have a crooked nose, bad facial features, and then a girl will post another video and she'll say, oh good facial features, bad facial harmony, and she has a slim pointed nose. Are you dumb? Did you pick up a history book? Did you study history? I beg, did you study history? Did you not? I don't understand how we can have a repeat of this. When you do not learn from history, you are damned to repeat it. I don't know why this has to be said to you for the first time. Again, when I say to you, I don't mean you guys watching because you're not you're not dumb enough. You're, you're not dumb enough to even think of these things. You guys are here to be enlightened about what's going on in TikTok. And I love you for that. And it's just like we're repeating history and you're not learning because you refuse to understand and acknowledge that this idea isn't new. It's just, it's riddled with everything. Um, Eurocentrism, classism, I know, like I said, I'll talk about why it's riddled with classism later on in another video in another lifetime. But I think if you can put two and two together, you'll understand why it's riddled with classism in terms of surgeries, funding, procedures, etc. You have to fund your new appearance, Ozempic. be the last section what is wrong with you girls and when i say you girls i'm speaking to the people that are my age i'm speaking to the girls that are younger than me i'm speaking to the girls that are older than me this is going to all of the girlies now the men in the room i don't even know if there'll be any <laughs> go, go sit this one out just watch from the crowd you guys have caused enough problems watch from the crowd why are we doing this again we did it with charlie d'amelio we've done it with people before charlie d'amelio we've done it with lauren gray baby ariel we've done it with them We've done it with celebrities, but now we're doing it every single week with someone new. Why is there a new it girl that we are throwing tomatoes, throwing tomatoes, bullying because they are hyped up? You do understand how that works, right? Whenever I see a piece of content on my For You page and I'm watching, I will give it a like and then I will scroll. Now, this creator could have an influx of likes and all of a sudden that video's gone viral and they'll post another video similar to that and it also goes viral and it goes viral and it goes viral and then all of a sudden they gain thousands and thousands of new followers their videos get pushed out into the for you page and all of a sudden that creator that didn't know that that was going to happen is the new tiktok it girl now i want you to close your eyes for me and i want you to imagine that you had 200 followers last night you wake up and you have 17,000 new followers you've got thousands of people in your dms you've got thousands of people in your comment section and all of a sudden on your latest video after having three videos do really well where you had nice comments people are saying who is this girl overrated i'm tired of seeing her can we just not make these people popular anymore what what's your reaction because i know what mine is my reaction to seeing that as that content creator is uh, it doesn't make sense. These people are not asking to be made the new TikTok it girl. And even if they are, it doesn't mean they should be treated so unfairly. Let's talk Leah Halton. That girl last time I checked had like 30 million likes. Maybe it was 20 million. I don't know what she's got right now. I'm just, I'm just going to say she had like 20 million likes, right? People in that comment section... It's like it's like they've never it's like they've never seen this happen before. Oh my god, 20 million likes for just talking at the camera. This is TikTok babe. People get new houses, new cars. They get 2000 a video. They get thousands of pounds a month just for lip-syncing a video on their screen and then going about their day. This is TikTok. 
more orders to their business just because a video of them blew up. It's what happens on TikTok. They make dreams come true, pretty much. Now, why are we surprised and why are you shading these creators? Because they're doing well. Because people are liking it. People are liking their content. You're saying, oh my God, who even likes them? The 400,000 people that likes the video, they like them. Who even likes these people? The millions of people that follow them. What do you mean who likes them? You don't like them. And 1,000 people that liked your comment, they also don't like them. But I bet you 1,000 people aren't following her. You guys didn't like the video, did you? So what is the issue? You don't like their content? Click not interested and go about your day. Because creators as soon as 13, 12, 14, they are going viral just for being themselves. And people, especially girls. You call yourself a girl's girl until a girl blows up online and all of a sudden she's a pick me. All of a sudden she's not all that. All of a sudden it's just makeup. Like, you went from loving this creator to hating them just because they're doing well? Like someone mentioned it on my For You page the other day. They said, it's not about how bad you're doing when you see who's for you. It's about how good you're doing and when you see who's for you. Because the more success you have, the more people's true colours show. It's just a fact. They start to switch up they start to act weird they get they jealous. jealous they can't handle the fact that you're doing well you're being successful they just can't those people that have no lives by the way <laughs> not 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 the normal ones the normal people they go oh my god yeah my friend's done this oh my god yes oh that stranger oh well done i don't even know you go but well done those are normal people the people that act like that are weirdos don't hurt me don't hurt me now the girls that I'm talking about are, I think she's called Esli and I can't remember the other girl's name. But we've had so many. Leah Halton was one. I literally am subscribed to her. I follow her on YouTube. I've watched her videos. I, I remember the first video I watched of hers. It was the Victoria's Secret one. I looked at her, the picture, the screen, um, the thumbnail for it. And I thought, wow, she's gorgeous. And I, I, I'm going to be honest. I literally thought this is going to be such a boring video where it's just like a backing track and she's just doing her makeup. I watched that video and I was laughing. She's so fun. She's so... I literally love her videos. Literally. And to think that she gets such cruel, hateful comments on TikTok because a lot of people liked her video and a lot of people find her attractive. They were like, oh, she has no personality. Her thing on TikTok is just lip syncing. On YouTube, that's what her personality is. I haven't checked out her Instagram, but maybe it's similar to her YouTube or maybe it's similar to her TikTok. It doesn't matter. But not knowing this person at all doesn't mean they have a personality. They don't have a personality, sorry. It literally doesn't. It just doesn't. I mean, before I started really showing my personality on YouTube, if you scroll down, it's just my vlogs. You don't see any personality. It was just me going out, me coming back. The end. Bye. That was it. That was literally it. You would have never known a personality besides that because I never showed it. There was ne never anything to show. So how would I How would I even do anything like that? The biggest takeaway I want you guys to have is social media sucks. It's the worst. I pretty much make my living off social media. I get brands and I do collaborations and partnerships all the time. I'm constantly answering emails, constantly answering DMs and stuff like that. It is tiring, but it's something that I chose to do because I... I can't stand dumb people anymore. I can't stand dumb content creators. I can't stand money hungry content creators. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, you know what you're doing is wrong. You're harming a new generation of young people just because you refuse to go to therapy. You know, you could always just download better. <laughs> What was my point? So the reason I became a content creator is because I want to help people to understand that they are more than what they see online. They are more than what they're told is beautiful. They are more than what they're told is attractive and they don't need to have bad facial features and good facial harmony, whatever the hell that means. They don't need to be the new TikTok it girls. They don't need to do this 30,000 step routine and how to be pretty. They don't need all those things. They don't need to buy the latest dresses and they don't need to follow all of these things to be beautiful. And by beautiful, I don't just mean on the outside and societally and what today's beauty standard means by today i mean this week because it changes constantly all you need to do is be yourself because when you become like everyone else then the world loses you they lose you if i became like everyone else there would be no me and i can think about all the things that i've done and the impact i've had on certain people on certain of some of my supporters on my family and if, I, if there wasn't a May because I was too busy trying to be a someone else, people would lose something. Um, I'm not saying to delete TikTok, I'm saying just use your brain, use your brain. You spent all those years in school, you're probably still in school. 
Use your brain. I'm hearing music. <laughs> use your brain. You spent all those years in school. Use deductive reasoning. Stop falling for the AI traps of this is the new Sheen Ho oh, 700 pound gift card. It's fake. Stop listening to that. Anyways, I hope you liked this video. This was like a kind of a new style video. It's basically me just complaining about the fact that I hate where TikTok is going at the moment, but um Oh my god. <laughs> basically me just complaining about me hating the direction that TikTok is going at the moment and hoping that not everyone will fall into the trap of what's been going on because it's just not fair and it's not cute and it's damaging it's really damaging but yeah uh I hope you liked this video um leave me any questions you have leave me any video recommendations you have I love you <laughs> I love you have a great day Bye.